Hey everybody, today we're talking about fractions and length. You remember this thing, it's called a ruler and we use it to measure length. And you recognize this thing, it's a number line and it helps us locate and order numbers. Did you ever notice that these two things have some things in common? We'll come back to that thought in a moment. For now, I want to take a closer look at the number line. When we first learned about number lines, we learned to count by ones and twos and fives and tens, but then we learned that the space between consecutive whole numbers on a number line could be broken up into equal size parts. For instance, if I cut this into two equal size pieces, I know that each piece represents one half. Similarly, if I cut it into fourths, each of those spaces represents one fourth. And similarly, we could break that into eight equal size parts and each part would represent an eight. Now let's bring that ruler back for a moment. These still look similar, but not as much, right? Because now I've taken that zero and one and put a bunch of space in between. And with rulers, we can't just arbitrarily move numbers around. They help us measure actual length. For instance, if this ruler is inches, and the space between the numbers is separated into eights, and I want to measure something really small, I could see here that it's maybe about an eighth of an inch. But that's a little hard to look at if we're working in math class, right? It would be much more helpful if I could just assign the one on my number line to represent one inch. We know it's not an actual inch, it's just representing an inch. Now if we want to represent the length of that bug, this is a much better way to do it. Let's keep working with this one inch number line for a moment, except I'm going to take your fractions away. Now what if I add a point and ask you, what distance does point T represent? Our point T is exactly in the middle between zero inches and one inch, which means that you could say point T is at four eighths inch or two fourths inch or one half inch. Those fractions are equivalent, so any of those answers could be correct. Let's look at one more example. Here, our number line represents the distance of one mile. See how it's handy to be able to represent distances on a number line. A mile long number line would be really hard to work with. In our first answer choice, the space between zero and one mile is split into three equal size parts and our point K is on the first of those three tick marks, which means it represents one-third mile. In this next number line, the space between zero and one mile is split into four equal parts. Our point K is at the second tick mark, which means it represents two-fourths mile. In our next number line, the space between zero and one mile is split into two equal parts. Our point is on the first tick mark, which means it represents one-half mile. In this last number line, it's split into four equal parts, and our point K is on the first tick mark, which means it represents one-fourth mile. That's the answer we were looking for. In summary, what we've learned today is that sometimes number lines will be used to represent length. 